it's massive. Like it's it's the biggest thing that we do, um, and you know it's it's the the opportunity where we get to come up against the best opposition. Uh, and then obviously with the profile of cycling, you know, going through the roof at the minute, um, it's a great opportunity for our sponsors as well. You know, with the amount of um, spectators on the road and the you know the TV audiences and stuff, it's it's just a, a great sort of shop window for for all of us really. Well, racing on a British team, the Tour of Britain is always a highlight of the season. Uh, coming towards the end of the year, it's also great because everything builds up towards that. Uh, all of your preparation, all of the hard work of the year, and it kind of culminates at the Tour of Britain. Um, so, you know, everyone's very excited and been working towards it. Uh, just yesterday we got back from a trip to Belgium, which was our final uh, race preparation trip before that. So it's one week to go and, you know, everyone's really, really quite excited and looking forward to a chance to get out there on the, on the roads of Britain and, you know, rip it up. The Olympics were absolutely amazing in terms of crowd support. I have never seen anything like it in all the years that I've been racing before. Uh, it was the, the crowds were actually deafening. They were so many crowds and so so loud. And um, I think that that excitement from the Olympics and the fact that Mark Cavendish, you know, Bradley Wiggins, and other guys are going to be at the Tour of Britain, it's it's going to sort of have a spillover effect. And also. And in the four years that I've that I've done, or well, the three years previously that I've done the Tour of Britain, every year there has been a noticeable increase in crowds. And um, so, with that in mind, with the Olympics in mind, with Bradley having won the Tour de France, I think the the crowds. I'm expecting a lot, a lot of crowds. And also the fact that the last stage here in Surrey is sort of. It, it goes around the area, so, so crowds will be able to see the riders more than once, which is fantastic for the crowds, which gives them even more reason to come out. So, you know, and the, the Brits have just done themselves proud by, by sort of backing the event and really showing support. So I think it's going to be a great day out for any spectator to come and you know, be part of the vibe. It should be good. This year with Brandy Wiggins, you know, the Tour de France champion, and Cavendish as world champion. Like I, you know, I can't imagine that it's going to be anything less than uh, pretty spectacular. We're going to have Mark Cavendish there. We're going to have Bradley Wiggins there. We're going to have many like really big foreign teams coming over. So it's going to attract a lot of attention from the international media, and also the fact that the World Championships are a week after the Tour of Britain makes it perfect preparation for any of the big names internationally to come here as their final preparation. So you can see the best pros in the world at the best form getting ready for the world champs. So it's, it's an amazing opportunity for, well, for us to race against them and for the spectators to see world-class racing. Good. Uh, the only drawbacks been the weather this summer, really. But uh, but no, it's been really cool. Actually, we've had um, we've had some really good races uh, on our program, which helps to kind of condition you for the the effort that you need to make at the Tour of Britain. So we were out in Sweden for a week, um, just a couple of weeks ago, and then otherwise it's a case of training and, and putting in the, the hard graft at home, really. I had a bit of a look last week, actually, um, and um, it looks like a really nice stage. Actually, it's you know it's. It's going to be tough, but not not too tough. Um, there'll be like a reasonably large group contesting the finish. I would have thought because although there are some sort of tough little climbs, uh, it's it, there's a plenty of opportunity for it to regroup after them. Um, so uh, so unless you get a, a certain group of riders that are you know have got like a, a mutual interest in, in staying away, then um, then I would expect it to be a reasonably sized sprint probably in Guildford.